Hi, my name's Alex Walford and I want to introduce you to jobs and topologies in Control Hub. So in this example, I have two pipelines in the pipeline repository and these are actually reading from uh, a little uh, Intel Edison that I have here. This is a, uh, a little computer and it has a temperature sensor, temperature and humidity and um, this can be reached via a RESTful endpoint. So this is what it looks like if I, if I get the uh, temperature and humidity from here. So I've got a couple of pipelines. So let's take a look at these pipelines. The first pipeline is going to um, poll the Intel Edison. So it's going to hit this uh, HTTP endpoint and write that data to Kafka. And then the second pipeline is going to take that data out of Kafka and write it to MySQL. In the data collector dashboard, you can see that we have two pipelines, five data collectors, and currently no jobs or topologies. So let's start by creating a job. The first thing we're gonna do is go to the pipeline repository, and there is a button here, create job. And so if I click on that button, it will allow me to assign that job to data collectors with certain labels. And an example of this would be if you have different environments, maybe you have a test environment and a production environment, you can have labeled data collectors and force the jobs to run on a, an environment that matches that label. So in this case, I have a Cloudera cluster running right here and uh, some data collectors running on it. So I'm gonna launch this on my uh, Cloudera cluster. I'm going to enable time series analysis because I think that's important for a nice visual to understand what's going on. And the, this default parameters, this will allow you to take a pipeline that perhaps you've um, got credentials for a test environment and you can override those and so you can cr make sure that you're using the same job in both test and production. So I'm going to create a job and you can see that the job is created and I can launch it by clicking on the play button here. And in a moment you'll see this spin up. Uh, so the job is now active. We can go into the job and there'll be a link here that will take us to the actual data collector where this is running. So if I want to drill down to the data collector I can just click on this and then I can see the uh, stats uh, inside the data collector. I'm going to do the same thing for the other job. So I have the second job is writing the data from Kafka to MySQL. So I'm going to click create job here. I'm also going to run it on my Cloudera cluster. Again, enable time series analysis. So here we have number of instances. And, and a typical example of this would be if you want to scale out. So if I was to set this to minus one, this will run on every data collector with the label CDH. If I wanted to say run one instance but enable failover, if the node that it was running on for some reason disappeared, the Control Hub would realize that and launch this pipeline on another node. And so that's uh, what failover does. Again, we have parameters and we can override these if we want to, I'm not going to. So we've created a second job and I'm going to launch this now. From the Control Hub dashboard, you can see that we now have two pipelines, five data collectors registered here, two jobs that we just created. You can see them running and no topologies. So the next thing we're going to do is create a topology. A topology allows you to monitor processes that span more than one pipeline. So in this case, we have two pipelines. The first pipeline is reading from the device and writing to Kafka. And then the second pipeline is reading from that Kafka topic and it's writing to MySQL. Now I can connect these two pipelines together by creating a link here. And now I'm gonna publish this topology. You can see, this is called a Sankey diagram and it shows you throughputs of, and, and there, there was a slight time lag between starting these two jobs and that's why we see a, a difference in records here. So that was a quick 
walkthrough on how to create a job from a pipeline and then create a topology from multiple pipelines in Control Hub. Here are some other resources that you might find helpful. So we have ask.streamsets.com. It's a Stack Overflow style wiki. We have a Slack channel, a Google group, and a ton of great documentation online. Thanks so much for watching.